This lesson is going to talk about how to enable a DHCP server on a Cisco ASA or a PIX. Now on the ASA, the latest version allows you to have the Cisco ASA just automatically be configured, which is the way the device comes by default. So we'll just go ahead and look and see if that's still set up this way. And here it is right here, DHCPD auto config inside. So if we want to manually configure this, we can. Otherwise, it's going to automatically go ahead and feed out IP addresses to the inside clients. So we're going to say no DHCPD auto underscore config. In a uh, Cisco PIX, you don't have to do this because that feature is not available. And we're going to save that to the inside address. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a DHCPD question mark and it gives us all of our so we're going to do a DHCPD enable and again we have to type in inside because that is the address we want <clears throat> so now DHCPD is enabled and we want to go ahead and create an IP pool in this particular case the pool has already been created the DHCPD address is right here are going to be 10.0.0.5 through 10.0.0.10 and you would just type it exactly as you see it there Next thing we're going to want to do is assign a DNS server. So DHCPD DNS, and we'll just put in our Windows server address. And you can put in multiple servers if you want as well, just separate them with a space. And we'll do the same thing with our Win server. In the Cisco PIX, it's uh, DHCPD Net BIOS and then the IP address. They changed that in this version. We can also change some other options as well. The gateway is defaulted to the inside IP address, so you don't have to configure that. You can also put in a DNS domain name. So if you have a Windows domain, you can put in DHCPD domain. And we'll just put in any old address there. And so now if you ping a name, it will append that at1.local to whatever name you have, so uh, you'll be able to reach other servers and computers more easily without having to type in the fully qualified domain name. You can set other things such as the lease uh, or the ping timeout, but typically that's not all that important. And uh, this is plenty to get going here and start using it, so we'll just go ahead and do a show run. And I'll make sure that all of our commands showed up and there they are. So we have DHCP DNS, wins, domain, address, and of course it is enabled and you definitely want to have it enabled on the inside.